The importance of sticking to your trading strategies. Do you tend to overrule your trading strategies? Perhaps even more so after a great run of profits? Be careful. Just listen to what the brain behind the medallion fund had to say about it. You're doing fundamental trading. One morning you come in, you feel like a genius. You know, your positions are all your way, and you think, God, I'm really smart. And look at all the money I made overnight. And then the next day you come in, and they've gone against you, and you feel like an idiot. There was, we were pretty good at it, but it just didn't seem to be a way to live your life, you know. Uh, so building models, go with the model. So, by 1988, I decided it's going to be 100% models. And it, and it has been ever since in the business that we built. So some firms, uh, you know, investing firms say, oh, they have models. And what they typically mean is, you know, we have a model and it, it advises the trader what to do. And if he likes the advice, he'll take it. And if he doesn't like the advice, he won't take it. Well, that's, you, you can't, that's not science. Uh, you can't simulate how you would do. How, how, was, how were you feeling when you got out of bed, uh, you know, 13 years ago when you're looking at, at uh, historical simulations? Did you like what the model said or didn't you like what the model said? That, it's a hard thing to back test. So uh, if you're going to trade using models, you just slavishly use the models. You do whatever the hell it says, no matter how smart or dumb you might think it is at that moment. And that uh, turned out to be a wonderful decision. So we built a business 100% uh, based on building computer models, uh, starting in those areas that, that uh, I, I mentioned, currencies, uh, financial instruments, uh, gradually uh, moving to stocks, and finally to anything that moved. Uh, well, it had to be uh, tradable, it had to be liquid. We were all, was always liquid. But, and, uh, you know, bringing in data, data, you, you, in those days, you, we, you know, we sent gals down to the New York Federal Reserve to copy histories of interest rate numbers. I mean, they, they didn't exist in the 70s. You couldn't go and buy data, and there was, there was certainly not online deliveries of all this stuff. So to m build the original models, we needed to collect a lot of data by hand, which we did. And, uh, but gradually, um, you know, we got smarter, the models got better, we brought in more and more people. Is said our, we have the best math and physics department in the world at Renaissance. I don't think that's quite true. Uh, on the other hand, it ain't bad. Uh, we have a lot of smart, uh, smart guys. When you overrule, you make it impossible to backtest, and it's simply not science.